Hello friends, I am Adrian Menezes from Mumbai, India. Good morning and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's Gospel is taken from Mark chapter 6, verses 53 to 56. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Genesareth and moored to the shore. And when they got out of the boat, the people immediately recognized him and ran about the whole region and began to bring the sick people on their beds to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he came, in villages, cities, or countryside, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and implored him that he might touch even the fringe of his garment. And as many as touched it were made well. The theme in the last few days has been that Jesus is the healer and the good shepherd. Most of the passages have pointed to the start of Jesus' ministry. And it has pointed to Jesus seeing the people of Israel as a sheep without a shepherd. And in his mercy and compassion for them has gone around the different towns, around the Sea of Galilee, preaching and healing and doing mighty miracles. Jesus has uh, actually been fulfilling the prophecy in Isaiah 42 and Isaiah 61, which are understood to be about the Messiah. It says, I will give you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I'm prompted to share two things with us today. First, why is there suffering and pain? And why does God allow it? Second, what should be our response during our own suffering and when we see others suffering? First one, why is there suffering and pain? And why does God allow it? I think we realize that pain and suffering are just a part of life. They are present whether we like it or not. And our life has ups and downs. Sometimes these are because of our own actions or own misactions. Sometimes because of the actions of other people who have their own free will. And because God loves them, He will not take away their free will even when they choose to do harm to others. Sometimes um, there is suffering from things that are just unfavorable to us. As gold is refined by fire, so is our own character, our faith, and our goodness refined by suffering. What does this mean? It's, it means to say that these sufferings, if we receive them well or we handle them well, are probably good for us in some way or the other. Let's see what Romans 5 says about this. It says, We rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character. And character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Even though we may understand somewhat how suffering is important in our life. And how it makes us mature or increases our strength. We might still not know how to deal with this well. The passage in Romans teaches us that we are to persevere through suffering because it produces character and eventually more hope in God. It says we grow in our trust in God, not because it's easy to trust Him, but because He gives us grace and strength to trust Him when we're in the middle of the suffering. So what can our response be? How can we, knowing that suffering is not always bad and we can find grace from God in the midst of the suffering, how can we respond to that well? First, 
is not to be discouraged. And even that is not an easy thing. We need the grace of God and the support of others in this. We should try to draw close to God and at the same time let fellow disciples and friends support us in our suffering. It says at Romans 5 that it, this builds endurance, builds character, and increases hope. The love and grace of God and even the love of others can actually overshadow our pain and suffering, can drown out our pain and suffering. The key in this, I think, is to not isolate oneself when you're suffering. Because this is exactly what the devil wants to do. To isolate us and to bring us to despair. But we are to run to Jesus and bring others to Jesus so that we are united in our suffering and not isolated. Our gospel today speaks of how people who were suffering came to Jesus and were brought to Jesus by their friends. May we have the same grace available to us to run to Jesus and to bring other people to Jesus because he is a loving and compassionate friend, brother and Lord. He will make us well because he wants to make us well. He is drawing near to you. Let us not turn away from him, but run to him so that he may strengthen us and restore our hope. If you've been blessed by this reflection, please feel free to share it with your friends and family. Again, this is Adrian Menezes from India. Have a good day. God bless you.